Happy New Year! Welcome to 2020 and lab report number four. I'm BKEP here at the Institute for Protein Design with my colleague Ian H. We have some news. This past month on December 3rd, we had a science chat with several Foldit scientists where Foldit players came to chat and they asked about the recent polyproline puzzles. There were great questions about the recent CryoEM paper, and Foldit developer JFlat06 gave us some details on the upcoming website. We are very excited to upgrade the Foldit website since we've had so many recent problems. You can find a transcript of the science chat at the link below. Puzzle updates. We have four puzzle updates this month. Uh, we saw a lot of different puzzles in December. First, to follow up with the last month's CryoEM paper, we saw another electron density puzzle. This was a, a coil coil unit of a kinesin native protein. This is not a cryo-EM data set. This is electron density from a crystallography experiment. But the same principles apply where it's very difficult for scientists to build a high quality model into this kind of data. So when we see models that we think can be approved, uh, we'd like to challenge folded players and see if folded players can come up with models that fit the experimental data better than what we already have. Next, polyproline helices. We have seen uh, some new polyproline puzzles. Neil PG628 has been looking at your solutions from the previous polyproline puzzles and thinking about uh, new tools and features we can add to fold it to address uh, the major problems that we see in polyproline. Again, the biggest challenge with polyproline helices will be satisfying the polar oxygens on the polyproline backbone. So hopefully in the coming year we will see um, some new features addressing buried polar atoms and fold it. Next, we had a, uh, an outlier puzzle. A, we had a Tim Barrel symmetric redesign puzzle. Um, this was unusual in that we provided to folded players a Baker Lab design of a already folded protein that behaves well as a monomer in solution. So it, it's, it's very stable and folds up as designed. But we would like to have it self-assemble into a complex into a trimer, for example. This is a problem that's difficult in Rosetta because uh, this will likely require uh, the backbone to change just a little bit. So we provided the folded monomer to folded players and asked them to um, tinker with it and redesign it such that it could come together in a well-formed trimer. Lastly, we saw even more symmetric design puzzles with hydrogen bond networks. These are great. We love looking at the solutions uh, that folded players come up with for these hydrogen bond networks. And in fact, we have a design of the month this month from user Fiendish Ghoul. Fiendish Ghoul. Uh, this is from puzzle 1764, symmetric trimer design H bond networks. This is a standard trimer design puzzle where folded players are challenged to build a symmetric trimer. So this is three copies of the same protein that come together. And Fiendish School here has designed a brilliant hydrogen bond network that I want to dive into. If we look at just the monomer unit, um, we can see that uh, this looks like a plausible design to me. We have uh, lots of blue polar residues on the surface of the protein and we have lots of orange hydrophobic residues in the interior. Um, so this is great, the hydrophobic effect uh, is, um, is again, it's one of the main drivers of protein folding. So I think this monomer unit stands a good chance of folding up on its own. But if we zoom in on the interface, we see a very impressive hydrogen bond network uh, from Fiendish School. It starts with two serines on one of the symmetric units that hydrogen bonds here to an aspartate, which crosses to a neighboring histidine, which reaches over to the actual third trimer. So this is a network um, connecting all three trimers in a single, uh, a single chain of hydrogen bonds. Um, and it's not shown here, uh, but this last histidine is actually making another hydrogen bond uh, with the helix here, um, the backbone atom of the helix. Uh, and this is a nice interaction we don't talk about much in Foldit uh, called helix capping. Um, where uh, a, a residue side chain makes a hydrogen bond with a backbone atom at the end of a helix. Um, so this is great. This means that this histidine will be uh, well placed um, to make the rest of these hydrogen bonds and finish up the network. Again, what we like about this network is that every polar atom here at the interior of the protein is making a hydrogen bond. 
um, which is very important. Um, So this is, uh, this is a great example of a well-formed Hydrobond network. Um, thank you, Mr. Gould, for sharing this design with us. Uh, please share all of your favorite designs with us using the Share with Scientists feature on Foldit. We love to look at these. We love to see what Foldit players are excited about um, and what you're working on, even if they don't score at the top of the scoreboards. We have two lab updates this month. First, uh, we have been continuing to test previous symmetric designs from folded players. Um, we have a few hits, it looks like, of some designs that come together to form dimers. And these are especially exciting because they have beta sheets at the interface. And designing symmetric complexes with beta sheets has proven more difficult in the Baker Lab than for helical bundles, for example. So these are designs without hydrogen bond networks for the most part. We are hoping that the new hydrogen bond networks and the, the more recent designs will give us a higher success rate. Second update, BCOV has ordered 1,994 folded player designs from the IL-7R binder redesign puzzles. If you played any of the IL-7R puzzles, there is a design that will be tested with your name on it. This is great because we will have real hard data about a large number of folded designs from real wet lab experiments. Whereas before, we've only been able to test small subsets of designs that we think are most promising. Uh, with BCUB's high throughput experiment, we can really see how these proteins actually perform in the cell. Um, that's all we have this month. Again, Happy New Year. We have lots of new puzzles coming, lots of new experiments, a lot to be excited about. Again, thank you for playing. Uh, we will see you next month.